What is going on, lunatics? Today is the day. Rack off the jet. The attorney, the judge, rack off the judge is going to rule or at least start listening to Terraform Labs and the SEC when determining what the penalty is. And that's probably going to have an impact on our price in one direction or another. Of course, if it's on the low side, then we will probably see a spike in price because it will feel like this chapter is over if. The full $5 billion is what's decided then. In fact, that might also cause a pump, by the way, because at least it will be over at that point. And it's Terraform Labs has nothing to do with Luna Classic. There'll be some clarity. So I feel positive about the, the result of it. So uh, we're going to look at, uh, we're, we're going to check out the ecosystem today. Uh, but keep that in mind. Let me show you what it looks like. By the way, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified of future content. Let's get into it. All right, so today we're listening to the start of this uh, debate over what the penalty should be. $5.3 billion is what they're looking for. In the news, however, Montenegro and the SEC have been having secret communications because, of course, they have about why the SEC should have Duquan brought to the United States uh, to, be, um, uh, to, to be sentenced or to face... Um, the, the, the officials here for what he did in another country to other countries for other people in other countries. It makes no sense whatsoever. This is an attempt by the SEC and Democrats in, in control in the United States to seize power and to use power to manipulate circumstances and uh, devious. Uh, but that's exactly who Gary Gensler is. So we'll see how this goes. Um, but if he ends up in South Korea, which is what is expected or has been expected over and over again, um, and in fact, it should be uh, it should be noted that uh, the Montenegro Justice Minister Andre Milovic, um, he's been doing this despite every decision he makes to send Duquan to America being overturned by the High Court. He then goes back and overrules the high court and starts the process over and over again. There's clearly payment that's happening between the United States and Montenegro at this point. So very interesting to see how this all plays out. I'm fascinated by it, and I hope that you are. Moving on to other news. Binance Luna Classic burns are over $59 billion right now. If you come to Lunk Metrics and you look at the top burners over here, uh, then you will see that They've gone over $59 billion, uh, $69 million, $155,688. So um, there's articles coming out right now, clickbait articles, if you will, because they're just recognizing the amount. Why wouldn't you save that for $60 billion? It seems like a no-brainer unless you don't have any articles or something like that. So, guys, you might see some uh, the Binance Lunk burn spikes over $59 billion after latest Terra Classic token burn. What's it sound like to you? Does this sound like they just burned 59 billion tokens? That's what it sounds like to me. So uh, watch out for some of these articles. Also, in the Commonwealth, uh, we've got another one. Uh, Lunk Rocket is required is like wondering, like, why won't you guys take the burn tax? Like, bro, why won't you do that? And I, I you know, I don't know what the answer um I, I don't know how to, to answer that other than look, this is what the centralized exchanges would agree upon, and this is just how it is. So uh, and by the way, um you know, let's face facts here. Uh, when when these guys come out with their plans, oh, they're they're not thinking clearly. They, they can't be thinking clearly because if you get to this situation where you're burning 285 million, let's just say we're burning 285 million. It's not donations. It's all just burns, right? What that's going to do is change it to three times that, which is going to be 700 million, right? Uh, that's still insignificant. We're spending a lot of anger, a lot of resentment on something silly. Um, in fact, if we come down here, you have to remove Binance because Binance doesn't burn it anyway. They burn it off of their fees because they're on that centralized exchange. Uh, and, and so when you start to look down here and you're like, well, well who's burning based on actual you know, purchases and, and, and stuff like that? And I mean, nothing like it's bar there's barely any being burned, you know. So this is a uh, this is a silly fight. That makes no sense whatsoever uh, in the big scheme of things. And I just don't understand why uh, people can't get out of their own ways. Uh, what I'm more focused on and what I'm more 
uh, excited about would be the, the Terra Classic website coming alive, having a white paper coming alive, showing a little vibrance in the community. I think that's way more important than, why don't you burn some more tokens? We're going to burn tokens. There, there, there'll be a, pro a process by which tokens are, are, are going to be burned, but it's not right here and right now. I apologize. I hope everybody understands that. Um, meantime, let's check out the uh, meme coins. Um, as you can see, you know, some of these are still spiking a little bit. You got a new MAGA token out here. Uh, you got, you know, a few different ones. But overall market, we got the approval for the Ethereum ETF, and that caused a real crash in the market instead of a pump in the market like we were looking for. By the way, that's a short-term crash. It's not a, you know, it's not, and it's not, by the way, when I say crash, I shouldn't even say it that way. It's just a, you know, a little tiny correction to the downside uh, because the, you know, some people expected pump, uh, they were buying Ethereum thinking, me, me buy, me buy now Google pump up, 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 up. And it didn't do that. Uh, originally, no new investors didn't come in. So, of course, everybody's going to sell. And they're like, me at high, me no, me no hold. So then it comes down. And, of course, we we start to buy it up and we hold the floor. So that's what's happening right now. It's going to take a few minutes uh, before we really hit that spike. Uh, we don't know, by the way, when the Ethereum trading is actually going to go live because the 19B4 files, uh, uh, documents were filed but there's no sb1s so uh, you can't <laughs> our sb1 oh my god there's no s1 filing so until there's in, until those are filed and until those are done correctly for the sec then there's no trading so you know at this moment nothing really happened other than yeah you can do it uh, but you have to go through the process still and the s1 filing is going to take a while because guess what the SEC never engaged with anybody. They were forced into this by the Biden administration, I assume, to approve it because nothing screams, hey, young kids, vote for me, like Joe Biden. You know what I mean? So that would appear to be what we're dealing with right now and what's going on in the United States. So uh, let's move on to price action. Oh, wait, let's, let's uh, sorry. Let's go with uh, station. Uh, reactivate osmosis did pass, so... <laughs> oh, Jesus is Lord one and two. Uh, you one guy with two validators. You're so silly. Uh, and then we have the increase in the burn tax that's out here right now. It's not going to go through. Uh, I, I just, I, I can't even imagine. Uh, here we go. This is what it looks like right here. Who's wanting to increase the burn tax? Um, th these guys are wanting to increase it. Uh, then we've got Lunk Development Fund not wanting to. And they've got no with veto coming through a lot. And by the way, these guys are now trying to protect, uh, and this is early, but they're now trying to protect their positions right here. Not in a bad way, by the way. Uh, but, you know, let's get out here. Let's get these votes done right away. Uh, let's let's crush this thing, move on. You know, um, it, it's the centralized exchanges that are not going to do it. So it's it kind of irrelevant. Um, and by the way, Binance keeps saying, you know, if you do this, something bad's going to happen. Do you want to lose that burn? Because you got to have this 1.5% versus something else. It's just silly. It's a silly argument. Um, th there should be some maturity in this uh, space to, to stop crying about the same goddamn thing over and over again. Anyway, let's check price action. Um, so we didn't get uh, the enormous move that I am still anticipating to happen, but we did get a spike and uh, there's some, um, you're going to see like, you know, we're just kind of moving in this upward sort of trajectory. I uh, would like to probably kind of see this test the bottom. It would give me more confidence, but it really doesn't matter because there's a heart line kind of right in here uh, in the middle where if we're just kind of trending in this range, it's all fine. Uh, but like I told you guys before, what I think is going to happen is uh, most likely, even though we spiked out here, we're going to come back into this range. We came back up here uh, with a test. We're going to come back down, probably bang around in this range. Uh, looks like, in fact, if you kind of gauge it and say, well, you know what? There seems to be sort of a, a spike here happening at not regular intervals, but close to it. Then you can see here that there's you know, kind of a spike and you know, if we get another spike, it might come over here in the middle of June uh, or, or, you know, June 10th, somewhere around there. Uh, we might see another spike uh, as it attempts to break out. Probably won't have the strength to break out, but uh, it would go up to about 13 or 14 before probably coming back down and doing exactly what it's done here multiple times over and over again. So uh, there is a pattern. There is a recognition on it. Uh, when is this? This is the 22nd. When was this one? It was the 5th. Uh, when was this one? April 23rd. So seems to be uh, every 15, you know, every two weeks or so, uh, there seems to be a spike going right now. Uh, we don't know if that'll continue. By the way, this was two weeks before that. <laughs> so 
Uh, and this was two weeks before that. And this was two weeks before that. So there are spikes every two weeks. So uh, let's expect to see something happen, you know, uh, 21st. So probably 11 more days-ish. So maybe we got some downward momentum. Might be an opportunity for you to accumulate a little bit uh, for that big run-up and do yourself a quick flip if, you, if you're looking for it. Uh, also, to recognize we're down 2.4% on the day. Uh, not a great day for Luna Classic so far, but, you know, the market, uh, the market do what the market do. So uh, as far as USTC, same thing, kind of just have a bounce here. And now we've got uh, different trend lines happening right here, which is not, not, a, not a great sign, by the way, for, for USTC. Again, I, I told you I have no confidence in USTC until we get a reason to be confident. Uh, most likely, um, that most likely we're going to bang around here and come back down to two cents or right below two cents into this range right here. And of course, every time I say that, uh, it, it becomes, well, what about this range down here? So there could be some sell down on USTC trading at 2.2 cents kind of in this range, but there's another range right here at around 2 cents. Uh, and then there's another range, a smaller one right here at about 1.8. And there's another one right here at 1.6. Uh, that's the most likely because that's where the most volume is. Might be able to make an argument somewhere around here at 19 that we're going to uh, kind of catch and reverse from there. But again, there has to be a catalyst to cause a reversal. And I don't see any catalyst yet. So uh, when we get a, a, a true catalyst, then we'll see. As far as volume goes, down to 39 million again. Uh, now, I, I assume All Notes has done an update here and we have the updated totals. Same thing over here. Um, I'm assuming that there has been some kind of update. However, again, trading volume down, market cap down, the entire market just kind of meandering around. So uh, let's talk about staking. If you haven't staked your, your Luna Classic, today would be a great opportunity for you to get started. Choose a validator. Choose a validator that 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 mirrors your interest. Come over to something like Lunk Dash. Look at the proposals. You know, get an idea of would you vote yes for this? If you would vote yes for this, then then stake with one of these guys. Remember, we just did uh, on this dashboard. You know, we've got this IBC uh, being updated over here. Uh, the the no with veto right here is Jesus is Lord. Uh, get Lunk Swap out here uh, voting no with veto as well. But you got all nodes, Interstellar, Stakely. We got everybody trying to revive this chain. And you got three people not doing it. And I don't know what the deal is behind why uh, anybody's doing, you know, whatever it is that they're doing. They all have their reasons. But I would question uh, not whether they're good or bad, but whether you should continue to allow them to vote for you through your validation. You should validate with people who are in line with your beliefs because they will vote for your better interest if that is in fact your interest. So I would definitely recommend that you check it out and make a decision uh, based upon facts and not feels. Pepe just hit an all-time high and to celebrate, Cryptonomy.finance is giving away Pepe $10 up to $1,000, a total of $100,000 prize pool. Anybody who signs up today and follows the instructions that I'm about to give you will qualify for Pepe. First, follow Cryptonomy underscore Fi on X. Initiate a deposit at Cryptonomy.finance. Start staking or join the launch pool. We'll check my res results pretty soon. Uh, and then like and retweet, uh, retweet this post. The deadline is going to be June 15. It's open worldwide. So get in while you can right now. This Pepeway giveaway is going to be a big one. Now, what am I looking like over here? Well, let's start with this one. Uh, I just earned 0 0.1012 Bitcoin. That was $600. Remember, we staked this back in November of last year. Uh, also, we staked another one in January for uh, a two-month, a three-month period. We locked it in. We got 0 0.037 Bitcoin. Uh, that is the equivalent of uh, $1,800. We made $2,400 in the last couple of months off of using the staking mechanism with Cryptonomy Binance. I took the longer term for the rest of these, and you can see that the accrued interest uh, expected so far. Now, I've earned in rewards, as you can see right here, about $2,400, but it's going to be $4,800 over the next couple of months. And remember, I've continued to stake and continue to stake and continue to stake because I'm looking uh, to get this through the bull run. And when the bull run comes, then... I say that I've earned this in dollars. It's not really even in dollars. It's in the crypto right now. Uh, and then hopefully that crypto price goes up and then you see it happening right there. But the big one, the big one 
is the launch pool. Uh, look at the returns that are coming through. We got 12X on Theta Knots, uh, Verita, VDA, 1.37, Engines of Fury, 4X, Lifeform, 4.8X. Going down this list, you can see a lot of different launches, a lot of different big moves. TARS Protocol, 13X. You guys are familiar with TARS X. I've talked about them before. So if you want to earn some Pepe, then make sure you sign up at cryptonomy.finance today. Make sure you follow uh, the X account. Uh, make sure that you like and retweet that. And then make sure you make a deposit and start staking either in the flexible, fixed, or launch pool today. Now, uh, if you will, let's talk about, uh, we're going to talk about the Elbun project. So this is base and you can, you can, I'll show you where you can get bases as, as, as well in just a few moments. Uh, by the way, remember, this is all brought to you by Terraport. Uh, and uh, if you're looking for some risk-based gaming, go to Terra Casino. Check that out. If you want to do some trading and burn some tokens, burn more tokens than are burned over on Binance. Weeks, W-E-E-X, link in the description down below. If you want non-KYC, right over there, K-C-E-X. Uh, if, you, if you follow me because of Ben Armstrong, Femex, we're both partners on that one. So uh, the guide to base... Uh, BASE is a liquid staking token for Luna Classic. The price of BASE is determined by a predefined curve based on the total supply. See white paper for more details. The shape of the curve rewards those who buy BASE earlier before leveling off for stable gains. When you buy BASE, it's automatically staked with a LUNK validator, and the rewards are fed back into the token bonding curve to increase the value of BASE. As a 4.8% transaction tax, 0.6 is used to burn LUNK. 1.8 is fed back into the bonding curve to increase the value of BASE. 2.4% at the discretion of the project. I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like by the way. Uh, base is only transacted LUNK, so it will reflect increases and decreases of LUNK based on current transactions, and APY, base annualized return, is over 217%. Currently selling your base requires a 21-day unbonding before LUNK is returned to your wallet. Uh, and then, you know, so let's just consider this for a second. Um, there's an opportunity to earn 217% on the base. Uh, it continues to feed itself, if you will, and uh, there, uh, there's a chart to track the base price will be coming. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that already is. I think I might be able to, to, to show you guys that. But this is where you would come in order to do that. Now, first of all, there's the project, which it kind of gives you, you know, if you can go around here and check out everything that you want on base token. Uh, but there's a swap right here. So let's just say right now, what I want to do is I want to take all of my lunk right here that I've got in this wallet, which is a little bit over a million uh, it's going to hold back a little bit because the fee is based in long, 4.8% 4, 4 as well. Uh, but it's going to buy me 348 base over here. So I'm going to initiate that swap. Now, while we wait for that to go through, we come over here. And these are the peer-to-peer -peer, peer -peer marketplace that you can come into. And you can sell your base. You can sell whatever tokens that you have. Uh, and you can do a price. For example, 97.81% uh, uh, saving. This is buy base, select an offer. So if you want to sell your stuff at a premium or under market price uh, in order to move it, then, you know, here's the options right here. Uh, these mind-blowing savings, happy savings, et cetera, et cetera. But then you're paying at a premium. This one comes at a premium. Premium is 97.8. You got cat with hat, DTH. You got food over here. You've got frag over here. You've got frog over here. GRDX, LNC, LUNW, you've got Rackoff, you've got Terra, uh, and then you've got Terra Tritium. So uh, you can come over here and you can just do trading on your own. Now you can also come over here and check the last 100 buys, what anybody has done, how much base they've minted as they've uh, put the tokens in, how much that, you know, you can go look at the unstaking bonus to see how much they've earned. And then of course, when this happens, 21 days left, you can see that right here. Uh, when somebody's doing this, they've earned a little bit of base, and now that base is being converted back over into Lunk when it goes when it goes back into your wallet. Then you've got your vesting status over here uh, when you have your first release, your last release. This is the the, the base vesting. And then you have virtual mining over here if you're looking to uh, participate, uh, and then there's the affiliate link. So uh, you know this is potentially an opportunity to earn some yield that you've been looking for on your Luna Classic through base token. Uh, and then navigate a different type of system, something that you haven't seen before, where you're converting this over into a different token, getting rewarded for that different token, and then they're rewarding you and uh, increasing your value potentially because of their uh, because of their process to increase the value of base, keeping it hopefully ahead of Luna Classic and making sure that you earn more. Um, 
do not one one thing that I do want to stress, and it is covered in their post here. Do not plan to trade in and out of base because the tax will erode your returns. Instead, the best approach is to buy early to take advantage of the growth portion of the base price curve. Also, by buying early, you will reap transaction APY from other users onboarding. Over time, let your rewards compound, and if the need arises, use the quick release function available soon to exit base quickly. Otherwise, when you decide to sell, avoid the fee by waiting the 21-day unbonding period. So it's very simple. All you have to do is follow those instructions. You should be doing really well. That's my uh, time, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you, um, and I'll be on vacation, so um, it'll be I'll, I'll be a couple of days here, uh, but I'll see you guys on Monday. So you guys have a good weekend. And we'll talk to you again soon.